And uh, it's going to be a busy day, so we brought some vitamins. And we got oh, an AM and PM pack of vitamins for everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> Keep you going. This is great. You want the PM and this, of course, this of course relates it, uh, to our stock of the day. Of course, and that yeah. brings uh, me to the table. This is uh, sold by a company called USANA Health Services. And if you haven't heard of it, it's a NASDAQ stock. It's one of the fastest growing firms on the NASDAQ. Um, in a five-year span, it had an annual growth rate of nearly 40%. And its stock is growing just as fast, sevenfold over the last five Just years. vitamins, but there's so many vitamins uh, they got, I think they got a body wash. Body wash. They got yep. about uh, 20, 25 but products, still, actually. Part of the secret, do. Kathleen, is how it's sold, huh. and we're gonna get into that oh. later. Yeah. Oh, that'd be called a tease, I think. I no. think that's called a tease. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, our stock of the day, USANA Health Sciences. And we'll see why word of mouth is the bread and butter of this personal care products company. All right, stock of the day. It makes, a, uh, it makes and distributes a range of personal care products, but you won't find them on store shelves. USANA Health Sciences relies on what it calls network marketing to get the word out on its vitamins, moisturizers, and things like that. USANA Health Sciences is our stock of the day. We'll speak to the company's CFO in a moment, but if you notice Fred's hair looking particularly good today, <laughs> might be because of the samples. <laughs> yeah, that it took like an hour ago, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, USANA Health Services is one of the fastest growing firms on the NASDAQ. It grew at nearly 40% a year between 1995 and 2000, and its stock is growing just as fast as the company, not as fast as my hair, though. The small firm is based in Salt Lake City. It directly markets vitamins, nutrition bars, shampoos, toothpaste, and other health and personal care products. In the last 12 months, it earned nearly $27 million on sales of more than $240 million, sporting a net profit margin of about 11%. North America and Hong Kong account for nearly two-thirds of sales. It's a tightly controlled company for the chairman and his son own 44% of the outstanding shares. Now, like Amway, USANA Health Services has entrepreneurs sell its products. They, in turn, recruit others to sell the company's health products. These entrepreneurs get paid commissions based on their sales volume, and they also get paid on the sales volume of their associates. It has more than 160,000 entrepreneurial customers participating in so-called network marketing. USANA carries around two dozen products, so analysts say there's room to expand its lineup and seek new markets. Analysts also say that the direct selling model that USANA employs tends to produce salespeople who are knowledgeable about their products, and that helps sales because consumers feel overwhelmed by the flood of health products they see on the shelves at retail stores. Let's take a look at its stock. It is up 45.5% over the last 12 months. Currently, it's trading at roughly 14 times next year's estimated earnings. Now let's take a look at a five-year snapshot of that stock. It has jumped sevenfold during that period. One challenge facing the company, expansion in the Northeast, where it's currently weak, and that is a region where there is a stigma associated with network marketing. Allie and Greg? All right, uh, let's uh, stay with us for a minute, Fred, while we uh, talk more about USANA Health Sciences with the company's CFO, Gil Fuller. He joins us now from Salt Lake City, Utah. Gil, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. It's my pleasure. Great to be here. How do you, uh, how do you as a public company, uh, address the issue, that, that stigma of the kind of um, way you market, to, the way you distribute and market the, the, uh, the product? You call them entrepreneurial customers. Uh, we were familiar with it. Is it similar to the Amway uh, example that Fred used? There are some great companies in this channel, including Amway. Uh, some of the other names that people are very familiar with, of course, are companies like Avon. So it's just an excellent channel when you have products that require a little explanation and you know, to, to fully understand the value proposition. But it's just, there's some big advantages of this channel. And so I think our, our objective is to just help people understand what an excellent channel is, it is to, uh, uh, to sell products like this. And Gil, I didn't realize it until uh, we ran through some of the numbers, but I guess, you know, the Northeast does historically have a lower kind of acceptance of that type of sales. I mean, how much does that hold you back and what are you doing to crack that market? Well, what we're trying to do is continue to hold meetings with our field leaders in that area uh, to provide support of various kinds, uh, including educational support, uh, you know, l providing lectures about health and nutrition and about why our products are differentiated from the the typical product that you'll see in a retail shelf and we're beginning to see some solid progress in in the northeast and and the midwest two areas where we were uh, previously have been a little bit underrepresented but we like the trends that we see the two areas where you're strong is uh, north america and uh, hong kong
They account for nearly two-thirds of your sales. What about the rest of the markets? Where do you see expansion for your company? Good question. We are currently in uh, selling products in 12 countries with actual physical uh, facilities in 10 of those countries. Uh, Asia has been a strong point for us. We have also done very well in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we have done very well in uh, Taiwan and in Singapore where we do business. We have, we're fairly new in Japan and in South Korea, both important markets uh, for us. And uh, we're quite optimistic. We have shown uh, double-digit growth on a year-over-year -year basis in every one of our markets, including uh, the markets where we've been the longest. Those are the markets where you currently are, but what about new markets? Well, there are some great opportunities in the markets where we're existing uh, already. We see uh, tremendous opportunity, for example, in the United States. Uh, year over year, in the most recent quarter, we were up some 27 percent. And uh, that's not too shabby and something that we think is just the beginning of, of excellent growth. Uh, we see similar trends in all of our markets. So we have excellent opportunity in the markets that we're in. There are additional markets out there. Uh, obviously, one of the large markets that's beginning to open up is, the, is mainland China. We're not in that market yet, but we certainly are looking at it and, and uh, organizing our efforts at the right time to, uh, to go to that market. Let's talk a little about your product line. You've got a, a couple, about two dozen products. Yes. Uh, what's, where are your margins best? What kind of products and where's the growth the best as you see it? We have seen growth uh, basically even, evenly through our, our product line. The nutritionals, uh, which account for some 80% of our sales, uh, uh, versus our personal care products and, and some other things that we, we, we sell. We have tried to price our products uh, so that we're nearly indifferent as to which uh, pr of our products are selling. I think one of the excellent things about using this channel is that you have a bit more control of, over your gross margins. That is, the pricing decision is, is more squarely rested on us rather than, say, purchasing agents from the, uh, uh, the big box kind of stores, a typical retailer. So uh, we have been able to do that, and so we're almost indifferent as to which of our, our products are selling uh, because of the margin management that we're able to exercise over it. Uh, Gil, as you know, there is an overwhelming amount of choices in uh, vitamin stores at the retail level. You walk in, it seems like they double every year almost. Uh, what sets your folks apart? I mean, do they have nutrition degrees or something that we would get more expert advice from somebody behind a counter in a retail shop? Yeah, what we have tried to do is address this problem uh, head on, very directly. Uh, you're, you're right. When the average person walks into the typical uh, vitamin store or even a retailer that carries a long, uh, broad range of vitamins, the basic question is, gee, here's a thousand things here, what do I take? And we have tried to uh, respond to that by offering our, uh, a core product that, that gets to that basic question. We call it the essentials, and it counts for over 30% of our sales. And it's a product that has been uh, specifically formulated and well-balanced to include a broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, and it literally addresses that question. We think every person should be taking the essentials and after that, it may depend on your gender and your age and your specific needs as to whether or not you take uh, any, any of the other products we offer. So I think we have been able to eliminate the confusion. Uh, in terms of educating our independent uh, distributors, we provide a fair amount of information, uh, quite a bit of information really, in terms of written information, uh, regular meetings and so forth to educate them regarding our products. We, we have a, an excellent uh, research and development group uh, with PhDs who are continually writing papers, uh, researching uh, the latest thinking, the latest uh, clinical work that's been done with regards to nutrition. And we make that available via email, uh, via meetings, uh, magazines, and so forth to our field to keep them current on the latest developments. Gil, good to talk to you. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thanks again. Gil Fuller is the Chief Financial Officer of USANA Health Sciences, joining us from Salt Lake City, and our Healthy Stocks Editor, Fred Katayama. <laughs> Thank you to him as well.